Hey, yo, my planet of friends, Xelixor here, and welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight. In today's episode, we are checking out Gataka, a sci-fi movie dark ride experience created by Brad Hamilton. And here they say, it's the not-too-distant future. The Gataka Corporation is mounting a manned mission to Titan, and only the genetic elite will be considered. Luckily for you, Gataka is relaxing its standards for visitors and offering a unique behind-the-scenes tour of the facility board your trackless ride vehicles for an insider's view of mission planning then link up to the high speed rail system for a thrilling trip to the dormitories and beyond very cool so of course get is a uh, movie it came out a bit ago let me actually look that up it came out in 1997, so it's a good while ago, and uh, it's all about how genetics determine like what you do for a job and where you live and who you should meet or marry even. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's a film with uh, Ethan Hawke and uh, Uma Thurman. Pretty cool. Uh, Jude Law plays in it, uh, Lauren Dean. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, pretty crazy movie uh, about the future, a bit of a dark future, to be honest. But uh, let's go have a look. So, there we go. This is a crazy building. Brad Hamilton always does this. These big, elaborate uh, boarding stations. Got to get visitors tour. Let's get up here. Looks really good. Nice with the light coming in here. Security checkpoints. All visitors must submit to genetic screening. So yeah, basically you put your finger on that thing and uh, on, a, on a screening thing and it will check that it's you. And so everything is basically done with this genetic key code. So it checks your blood. It's so crazy. Let's hope we don't get that. And then we can see that we're <laughs> approved. There we go. Jerome Morrow, Employee of the Year. Irene Cassini, Employee of the Month. Look at this. Beautiful. Love the curves in this building. Very well done. I've rigged your tour vehicle to track vincent tell him i need to see what was that enjoy your tour okay and here we are at the boarding station actually we can uh, pause it and wait for this one so it's uh, gataka typhoon barkest here are the results 1225 meters uh 300 seconds almost i am going to put belong in the air on it because i know that's the one I can use without getting a copyright claim. So, let's do this. We're gonna sit in the middle and let's have a go.
Wow, that amazing coaster really an homage to the movie. I have to say, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's a pretty good movie, especially from uh, that age. It's this dystopian science fiction movie, right? Um, and I think you did it really well. I actually really, really loved all the detail that you put into this build. Some of these buildings and the light and also the, there was a thing with waves. I want to have a look at that. Actually, maybe we can hop on and take a look a bit further. Yeah, the detail in here was great. I love these chairs, what you did here. Look at all the details in this build. It was so crazy. We're taking the car, I like it with the gems on there to make it a bit futuristic. Just all how you played with all the lights. And then we get into this amazing Broadway club. Really well done. Let's have a look at that. While we get in here. Look at the, all the detail. It's so well done. Wow. I really, really like this. And I, it's kind of an old submission, uh, which is uh, even cooler, right? And we have the movie coaster contest coming up. So I thought, yeah, that would be cool to feature. Uh, that, that has never been featured before. So I was like, why not? Let's try check it out. Brad always makes amazing stuff. Also like how you played with the lighting here. And let's see. I think the part is coming up with the... Uh, yes, it's here. Look at those waves in the back. You see that there? This here? That's so cool. And I actually want to have a look on uh, how you did that. I think it's just with screens, right? But look at... Look how that looks. It's massive waves. Really well done. Actually, let's, uh, let's go have a look at that. I just want to dive a bit deeper into it. Um, is it somewhere... It's not here. I think it's here somewhere. They were completely wrong. I think they went through here. Oh no, that's where they came out of. So then it has to be somewhere here. Oh, here's the house. Aha, okay. It's So it is a projection screen with waves running on it. And they're angled. And then you get these waves. That looks really cool. And this you don't have to see what's up here. That's just, right? Whatever. Oh, and they're underneath here as well. I think. Yeah, I can't select it, but yeah, yeah, there is a production screen underneath that as well. That looks really good. More people should use this. Wow. I like it. But just beautiful detail everywhere, really an homage to the movie. Uh, it's it's pretty crazy concept, uh, which yeah, it's just really fun to watch, especially nowadays. Everything is just getting a little bit crazy every now and then. Um, so yeah, go have a look at the movie and then you can really appreciate Gataka, the, uh, the coaster here. So really great job as always. Brad Hamilton, great job. There we go. I want to have a look back here. This looks cool as well. You didn't really get to see that. And then, of course, launch successful. Good. So, uh, yeah, great coaster here today by uh, Brad Hamilton. Uh, let's have a little bird's eye view because there's uh, more of the park built. Of course, we go through this as well in there but of course we yeah there are no guests so you don't get to see it really and yeah, just the whole beautiful building here i love the angles in this as well so great job what did you guys think leave a comment down below and we will see you in the next one bye now